The recall campaign targeting Governor Gavin Newsom heated up Friday in California's state capital, with a courtroom showdown to determine whether the governor can identify himself as a Democrat on the ballot and gubernatorial hopeful Caitlyn Jenner Fielding pointed questions at her first full-fledged news conference. In Sacramento Superior Court, Newsom's attorney argued that prohibiting the governor from listing his party affiliation on the ballot, a possibility after he missed the legal deadline months ago to designate himself a Democrat, would deprive Californians of critical information when voting in the September 14 recall election. Attorneys for the recall proponents, including Jenner's legal counsel, criticized Newsom and said he was acting as though he was above the law, urging the judge to reject his request. The question now rests in the hands of Superior Court Judge James P. E. R. Gules who, after peppering attorneys on both sides with questions during the hour-long hearing Friday morning, said he would issue his ruling on Monday. The case centers on a lawsuit Newsom filed against California Secretary of State Shirley Weber, a fellow Democrat whom he nominated for the post in December, asking the court to require Weber to print his party preference on the recall ballots. Weber had declined Newsom's request to do so, saying the governor's attorney failed to make the request, as required by state law, when filing the governor's official response to the recall in early 2020. Weber did not object to adding Newsom's party affiliation if the judge ordered it. Kevin Kalia, the Secretary of State's outside counsel, told the judge that allowing Newsom to include his party designation would give Californians a more informed choice when voting in the election. Jenner, a former reality television star, used the lawsuit as a launching pad for her first news conference, in which she gave a brief opening statement and fielded 11 minutes of reporters' questions challenging her lack of political experience and spotty voting record. Jenner said she joined the lawsuit as an intervener to ensure transparency in the process. I want people to see what's happening up here in Sacramento and the things that are going on, Jenner said. And I just wanted to be part of this lawsuit so that Shirley Weber doesn't fold, so, she actually does her job. The Olympic gold medalist peppered her remarks with sports analogies and dismissed polling showing she is trailing in the race to replace Newsom, pointing out that her family's reality show fame has given her more name recognition than Newsom. I guarantee you I'm in the lead, when it comes to who should replace Newsom, Jenner said. I have a tremendous advantage obviously because of name recognition, and I think people are learning more about me as we go through this process, about my political beliefs and how I would govern," she said.